We're diving deep into the mind-bending finale of one of the most enigmatic films in cinematic history, American Psycho. But before we unravel the mysteries, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join our movie-loving community. Alright, let's get to it. American Psycho is a movie that leaves you questioning everything, especially its ending. So, folks, let us know in the comments, have you ever watched a movie that left you puzzled by the end? Share your experiences below. Now, the ending of American Psycho is as complex as the mind of its protagonist, Patrick Bateman. Did he really commit those gruesome murders, or was it all in his head? That's the million dollar question. Before we dive deeper, tell us what you think, dear viewers. Do you believe Patrick Bateman was a cold-blooded killer, or was it just a dark fantasy in his twisted mind? Share your theories with us. Let's break it down. The film's ending is intentionally ambiguous. We're left wondering if Bateman's murderous rampage actually happened or if it's a product of his delusional mind. Ambiguous endings can be both frustrating and fascinating, right? But they also invite us to interpret and discuss the film long after it's over. What's your take on ambiguous movie endings? Share your thoughts below. Now, the infamous Paul Allen murder. Bateman's brutal act with an axe is etched into our memories. But the twist? Paul Allen might not even be dead. The realtor's revelation about the apartment raises more questions than answers. Director Mary Heron sheds some light on the ending. She emphasizes that it's not a dream sequence. The events did happen in the world of the film. It's a deliberate choice to leave us questioning, much like the novel. Ambiguity in storytelling allows us to see the narrative from different angles. It's a powerful tool for directors to engage their audience and spark conversations. Don't you agree? But here's the kicker. While Bateman did commit terrible acts, the film questions whether anyone in his high society circle even noticed or cared. It's a commentary on the moral vacuum of Wall Street. The movie portrays a world where greed and self-absorption reign supreme. How relevant is this critique of society even today? Share your thoughts on the film's social commentary. Now, let's tackle the Paul Allen isn't dead theory. Could Bateman have mistaken multiple colleagues for Paul Allen? Is it a case of identity confusion in a world of conformity? In the end, American Psycho keeps us guessing, and that's its brilliance. It's a reflection of a society that often chooses not to see the dark truths beneath a polished facade. So, what's your take on the American Psycho ending? Is it a masterpiece of ambiguity, or would you have preferred a clear-cut conclusion? Share your final thoughts down below. Thanks for joining us on this mind-bending journey through the enigmatic world of American Psycho. If you enjoyed this analysis, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite films, and hit that notification bell.